Hi friends, so we are going to be doing a good old fashioned YouTube made me buy it video. I know that I am so guilty of this. I will watch a video, see something that looks really great on an influencer and I'll run out and buy it. And I have done that through the years. So I have a few things in here that I wanna to talk to you about that definitely were influenced by people here on YouTube and I bought them, but they're really, really good. And I continue to have them in my makeup arsenal and I continue to love them. So I wanted to share those with you. But first, before we get started, if you are new to the channel, thank you so much for being here. I hope that you do, do consider subscribing and being a part of our YouTube family. We would absolutely love to have you. And if everybody would just take a second and give this video a thumbs up, it helps my video be generated out there. And I do appreciate it more than you know. So I did so one of these videos when I very first started, I actually did two, one about Emily Noel and one about Kathleen Lights. I'll make sure that I link those for you guys. And then I may have done another one along the way. I'll, if I did, I'll make sure I link them all three for you guys. But these are so fun to remember where I got these original ideas from. So let's get into YouTube made me buy it. And let's talk a little bit about each of these products. All right, so we're going to start off with a product that I found quite a while ago, actually. I don't know, maybe a year and a half ago or longer. But um, Melissa55, who I absolutely adore on YouTube, if you guys actually, all these YouTubers that I'm gonna talk about, cream of the crop YouTubers, go over and check them out. But, but she had showed this hairspray on her channel. And this is the OGX Botifying Bamboo Fiber Full Big Hairspray. And it's got um, bamboo fibers and plant collagen. And what I love about this, it's a hold of four, so five being the most on their scale. What I love about this is I really like how well it holds my hair without feeling crunchy. You know, sometimes you can get a hairspray that it's got great hold, but at the same time, you're gonna get that crunchy feel. It doesn't feel like that. It still feels soft, but I feel like there's enough hold in there that it's gonna last all day. The other nice thing about this, this is great in humidity. And I really like that about it too, because um, I use the Volume 25 from Kenner for years. I still do use that. I find myself reaching for this a little bit more because it's more cost effective. Volume 25 was one that never ever let me down. And I wore that, I think it's like their 20th anniversary or even longer of having that hairspray in their line. I've worn it for that long. So when I found this one and I compared it to it, you know that it's gotta be a good one. And then this one is from my dear friend, Penny from Penn Smith Skincare. And I love that gal. She has turned me on to the best skincare items ever. Make sure I link her channel below as well. I'll link all of these channels for you guys. The Secret Key Starting Treatment Essence with Galactomyces in it. Now, if you guys have seen SK2 or SKII from Sephora and everybody talks about how wonderful that product is for anti-aging, for softening, for brightening, that's what this is. And Galactomyces are a a brand of yeast or fermentation that they found doing brewery work where they were working with the beer and they found that this specific per fermentation, the Galactomyces, was making their hands look more youthful, was making them brighter, their dark spots were going away on it. And that's what this does. And this has brightened my skin. It has helped with the dullness, the texture. I feel like my wrinkles are softened, um, you know, Wrinkles are gonna be there no matter what you do unless you have fillers or Botox or something, but I do feel like this helps soften them. And that is one that I absolutely love and have talked about over and over again on my channel. All right, Miss Mandy Lee. I found her about a year ago. I love Mandy. I did a collab with her. I think she's just one of those YouTubers that everybody can learn so much from because she's just down to earth. Her personality is so sweet. And she talked about on her channel, the L'Oreal Lumi Shake and Glow dewy mist and this is so good you guys hopefully i'm going to be able to show you on this hand what this does all right so you shake it up and then you just spray it on there and i'm going to let that dry because i don't want you to you know be getting the look of the wet hand but look at the two different hands hopefully you guys are going to be able to see the difference in the two different hands and how this just looks brightened and lightened and a little bit of that dewy look on it while this one is just flat 
And that's really what it does to your face too. It just makes that beautiful bright canvas that we all love to get that dewy look to our skin. Actually, the dewy look gives me a little bit less of a look of texture on my skin, which I really like as well. You don't wanna go too ham, but at the same time, it can look so pretty on your skin when you lighten that skin up. Now, the next two products are basically kind of the same thing as far as brightening your skin, lightening your skin up. Mandy Davis MUA. I watched her for a couple years as well. This is from Flower Beauty. Now they do have one of these that is just a regular setting powder, but this one is the Glow Powder. And Mandy showed this and I was so hooked. Now, I will say that I feel like the packaging is redundant because it's not really easy to take with you. And you know, look at it right there. So you've got this huge lid. This is the tiny bit right here that it is. It has huge packaging. So I don't feel like I appreciate the packaging maybe like some people do, but I do love the product inside of here. What this is, is a finishing powder. It's very glowy. It's very pretty. And if you're someone that is looking for that ethereal look on your skin, this will give it. It's not really a highlighter, although it could be used for a highlighter because it's very much like the Essence Pure Nude. But really, you guys, this is just a really beautiful brightening powder. And if you do have oily skin during the summer, if you want that glow without having any breakthrough, this is really good too, because it is definitely a powder. It just has those shimmery particles in them that is so, so pretty. Hopefully you're gonna be able to see that. And I'm trying to move my hand as much as I can so you can see that. So I love that Mandy turned me on to that one. And then this next one is from Flower Beauty. This is Andrea Matalano turned me on to this one. This is her favorite highlighter, you guys. She talks about this all the time. You do have the three different colors. So you have the gold, you have the more pink color, and then you have the just plain champagne color. And this is so pretty, you guys. Each of these colors are pretty on their own but the colors when they just get swirled together, which is what I do when I wear it, I just swirl all three together. The colors are so beautiful. So, and they're right there. Aren't those just gorgeous? And I am wearing it on my cheeks today and I laid that down underneath my blush before I put any blush on. And it just, I actually kind of laid it down fairly thick too. But they are so gorgeous, you guys. I don't care which color on here you choose. It is so beautiful and such a brightening effect on the cheeks. All right, so my friend, Dr. Danny Fisher on here, she talked about the Ardell Wanna Get Lucky eyeliners. And these you can buy at Sally Beauty. You can walk in and buy it or you can order them online. Now, what she was talking about is how well they stay in your waterline and they do, you guys, they're really good. It's a mechanical liner, so you don't really have to ever worry about um, sharpening them. But this one is the brown right here. This is a gel formula so saturated and so pretty you guys i don't know where my blue one went i had a blue one as well and then this one is the purple and i had the cobalt color and i think i had the silver i'm sure they're floating around here somewhere but in the waterline, you're gonna get these to last a long time. But there is a little bit of a trick and a little bit of a learning curve here, you guys. If you do wanna use these in your waterline, go in and make that line as dark as you want to. So when you're very first working with them, make that line really dark. Don't um, go in and then think you can go back in a few minutes and go back in because that's gonna like adhere to that waterline. It's gonna be there. And if you work with it too much, you're gonna find that it's actually rubbing itself off in the process because it's adhered there, but you're going back in onto something that's dry and it's gonna pick it up. So if you do just that initial laying it down as thick as you want or as light as you want in that waterline, it's gonna work wonders. And I do have the purple on as my outer liner on my bottom lash line today, just that outer third part. Love how good these smudge up, love how long they last. In the waterline, they're gonna last you a good three hours, I would say. You might, if you're somebody that doesn't tear up as much as I do, you might have it on there for eight hours. But I do tear up a lot, so it doesn't stick in there super long time, but at the same time, on the bottom lash line, it lasts there all day without any smudging. And I love this, you guys. Taylor Wynn. We all love Taylor. She does the best reviews on foundation. No and different here with this one. This is from Koki Cosmetics. This is their full coverage foundation. This is what I have on today, you guys. It is a little bit thicker. So if you don't like a thicker foundation, you might not like this one as well. But what I do is I just have to put on such a thin layer to get the amount of coverage I want. And that's why 
why I actually like it so much. You can put any sort of a primer in with this. If you want to put a drop or two of oil in it, you can if you're dry. If you're very oily, you might want to, if you want to thin it down a little bit, you can put in some moisturizer or something like that. But I find that just really sharing it out with my makeup sponge does the trick. And it's so good in its coverage and it's just beautiful in how well it covers. I have so much discoloration down here from my acne scars and then I have really deep, um, starting on age spots, but they were my freckles at one time across my cheeks. And it just takes care of all that redness, evens everything out, makes my skin look perfected. And I love that about it. So this is one that I will continue to repurchase and I thank Taylor Wynn for it. She's actually got me on a lot of foundations, but this is one that I love and that I continue to wear. And it's been in a lot of my favorite videos as well. Now, last product is from Mrs. Lola Lynn. She has been on YouTube for probably 10 years, but I started watching her way before I even started my channel. And she talked about the Sephora volume lip glosses. This, I know that that's not the name. It's like outrageous plump or something like that lip gloss. Make sure I throw it up on the screen for you guys. But anyway, they had two colors. One was um, a universal color and then they had another little color and they just called them one and two. Now they've extended their line into a bunch of other colors. This one in particular is the number 11 now. I had the number, I think it was the number the one or the number two for such a long time, but this is the number 11. And you guys, this makes your lips look so juicy and so pouty. And I like also that it has a divot in the actual doe foot applicator. It holds a lot of the actual gloss down in there. So when you put it on, you're getting just about the perfect amount. And it does have that little bit of a cooling effect to it like the button some glosses do, although it's not as much as the Buxom do. Just so you guys know that it's not that intense cooling effect that you get from a lot of plumping glosses that is obviously their camphor or their menthol or whatever they put in there. But I really like this a lot. I like how juicy it makes your lips look, how pouty it makes your lips look. I'm a lip gloss girl anyway, love lip glosses. So this one was one that I bought several times before they came out with the new color and so glad that I bought the new colors. So that is it for today's video, you guys. I do appreciate you being here with me. Tell me in the description box something that you were influenced to buy by a YouTuber. I would love to hear that. And who, who influenced you to do that? That would be a great conversation to open up in the description box. So thank you guys again for being here today. Hope that you did enjoy the video. Please give it that thumbs up. I would appreciate that. Hope everybody is healthy, staying safe, staying in as much as you can out of this heat that we're having, this heat wave across the states. It's been a tough week for everybody. But I Bye. hope that you're doing well. I love you guys very, very much. Thank you again. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.